Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video in Ubuntu Basics, a tutorial that shows how you can kill a program that is misbehaving. Sometimes you will get a program that comes up that will gray out or lock your computer and you will not be able to proceed. You've got three alternatives. You can sit there and wait. You can turn off your computer by unplugging it. And very often if you try to go up into the corner and try to turn it off by hitting the red X it won't work and if the program is doing that it's very frustrating now theoretically in Linux that should not ever happen with well-behaved programs those things just cannot occur but occasionally you'll run into this I'm going to show you a way where you can destroy a program very easily and uh, just go on with your business uh, you have to open up a terminal and Control alt t and type in the single word x kill and when you do that when you hit enter the cursor turns into an x and you go over and tap on any program that you want to kill now if you want to you can make a keyboard shortcut for this and I have a prior tutorial that shows how you can open up the keyboard shortcut with a keyboard shortcut if that's confusing I'll go over it again in a second you go down here to custom shortcuts and you you are going to add one and you hit the plus and you just type in X kill and put in the command X kill and you're going to hit apply and then you go down here and you're gonna to have to give it a key combination and I'm going to give it uh, shift alt X and there on after when I hit shift alt X any program can be killed let me go ahead and turn on the calculator again and now I'm going to hit shift alt X and see how it turned into an X tap it and it's gone let me go over briefly one other way of getting the keyboard shortcuts going. You go up here and tap on the right, System Settings. Go not to Keyboard Layout, but to Keyboard. Then go to Shortcuts. Then go to sh Custom Shortcuts. And you'll type in, where is it? X Kill. Now, I brought up the calculator by, I created one called Shift-Alt-C Calculator. And when I tap in on it, the command is GNOME-Calculator. That's how I got the calculator to come up so quick. And I've got Xkill in here twice, actually. I had it on there on a prior occasion. Now, I got the this screen to come up more rapidly by creating an icon not an icon a uh, shortcut to bring this up and we gotta find it these are all my different keyboard shortcuts and here it is control alt K and control alt K brings up this very screen and the command for it is gnome dash control let me zoom in on that gnome dash control dash center space keyboard I am going to now also show you one more thing if you want to you can even create an icon up here on the strip that will allow you to invoke X kill. Now, normally you would just hit the Windows key and A, and that's applications, and that's going to search all the applications. And I have a prior video that shows how to create an icon and destroy an icon. I'm going to create an icon, and I put in my password and I'm just gonna put in X kill 
and the command is x kill and there on after if I've got a program that is misbehaving such as my calculator I can kill that calculator off by control A alt A and I can just hit X kill like that. I don't know if that is uh, really really advantageous that is sort of like the Aggie who created a uh, uh, a thing on his phone to call 911 he has a speed dial key to press to hit 911 what does he say well he saves maybe one one digit but X kill is very useful I know it shouldn't be graying out I should I know it shouldn't be locking up but occasionally it does and this is a helpful command my name is pop I've got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu basics and I thank you very much